Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Rudy Banks, your host of the Entrepreneur Journey. Today is Friday, March 6th. I hope all is well. You know, actually, I woke up this morning and I was looking at my YouTube feed. Um, I replied to some some of you guys, some of the subscribers who asked the questions on marketing. But then I keep seeing this one particular ad about um, carbon filter masks. I'm like, what is this all about? Then I got to thinking, I was like, oh, the coronavirus. So today, guys, I want to show you how to apply the 3S method which means that you're providing a specific solution to a specific problem for a very specific person you can apply this to any product and i just want to use the topic of coronavirus just to show you if there's any products out there that are people are actually using to try to help you know people combat this as far as education mask and all those different things now i want to preface this that i'm not a medical professional or anything like that i'm not give you medical advice but my heart does go out to you know, anybody who's been affected by this and you know having traveled a couple weeks ago you know going through the airport I saw people wearing surgical masks I saw people wearing contractor masks and it's just like it just took me back for a second um, every time someone coughed on the plane you know you're trying to cover your face it's like so I definitely you know be careful you know if you're traveling you know me and my wife we had wipes we were wiping everything down when we got on the plane you just got to you know, try to protect yourself the best you can if you have to travel and stuff. So that's my little public service announcement. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Um, I want to take you through my thought process and you can apply this to anything when it comes to vetting out, you know, products and solutions that are trying to solve specific problems for very specific people. Like I said, this video was inspired by, you know, some of these videos that were popping up on my timeline. And I just typed in carbon filter mash just to show you what's been coming up. Um, I didn't have the actual link to the video at the time uh, for that particular ad, but I'm quite sure it'll come back up again. But as you can see, there's different um, masks. Some of them are just a performance related mask. Um, but for the most part, um, you can see people talking about you know coronavirus so using that as keyword research so that's kind of the the first thing is you know when you think about you know searching a product if you're looking on youtube you know if i type in coronavirus so you can automatically see what type of searches are coming up snl songs remix uh corona time so if i finish that out um, you can see coronavirus mass updates. So these are what people are searching for. So if you're doing video and content around this topic, you know, this is kind of what some of the top searches that the search engine uh, within YouTube is, you know, the second top search engine next to Google. So as you can see there's products, uh, information about it. Um, let's see. I can easily see right here. Here's a mask here and they put <laughs> hashtag coronavirus. You know, and then this video was done three years ago, but they probably just updated the title. And you can see they got an Amazon link to a product. All right, so let's go on over to Google Trends. So if, if I'm looking at a particular topic, say I want to do, you know, a product, I want to do a blog post or whatever it may be, I can go over to Google Trends. And Google Trends is going to tell me several things. I can search by, you know, United States, I could do worldwide. And I just typed in the word coronavirus and this is what came up. So it tells me interest over time and basically think of this as a percentage. So as you can see, 2019, there is no interest. And then all of a sudden you start seeing a spike here. It spiked about 50 or 48. And that was back in February. Again, today is March 6th. So at the time of this video, there hasn't been any uh, major cure come out or anything yet. But um, so as you can see, it's spiking up to 100 so there's a lot of interest in it right now this is just the united states and then if you look at related topics on google trends you can see what people you know are looking at and look number three is mass so people want to know you know will the mass protect me i did hear that you know even in china you know people are allocated a certain amount of mass so there's a lot of people searching on amazon they're they're buying stores out because you know, there's not enough. There's a big demand, but not enough supply. So you can, you can imagine people um, having to manufacture more mass and and um, generate more mass. So so that's the United States. If I wanted to broaden my 
search a little bit and do worldwide so you can see their interest by region Italy is is the top right now you got Singapore Switzerland Spain Ireland and you can continue to go over here um, again now mass worldwide is is the um, sec second topic there related query so it's a good search engine when you're trying to vet out whether or not you know the topic that you're getting ready to write on you're getting ready to create a product or solution for where the demand is there's no reason creating a product if there's no demand for it all right so the next site i use is called answer the public and um so i basically typed in coronavirus there and this site i use this site if i'm going to you know come up with headlines you know, if I'm trying to write, get some content, get some articles and things written, this gives you all the who, what, when, where, and how, and why, which it gives you all these different topics. So it gives you like a, you know, a map here, or a web, a mind map, or whatever you want to call it. And here it breaks it down by alphabetical order. So you can get all these different topics. So this is very important when you're doing keyword research, you know, you're doing search and op search engine optimization. If you're going to do ads, you know, these are you can just go here through here and copy. You know, that's 506 items there. You can just download that um, as a CSV file. Scroll down a little bit. So you can download this as a CSV file and now you got all the keywords and then you can load that into Bing, you can load that into Google and figure out which um, topics you can go after. Alright, so the next thing I did, I went to Bing just to see and I typed in best mass and um, just to see what ads came up. Um, you can see somebody created a domain 95mass.com so they're definitely just focusing on a niche website and they're probably getting a lot of traffic there. Burt's Bees hydrating and then that's a facial mask but that's not the same thing um, but you notice the word coronavirus actually anti-coronavirus mask here right there that came up as an ad but when I typed in just corona in general if I just type in that in general I noticed that there's no ad for that search topic so that makes me wonder because I went on uh, Google did the same thing and I was n and the first thing I noticed there is no there's no ads with the word just coronavirus and if I type in coronavirus mask I still don't see any ads so it might tell me that you know when it comes to medical terms sometimes it's hard to you know go specifically at a medical term because you started getting into making claims and stuff like that so there's ways you have to go around these topics when you're uh you know you're doing your your, your ads and stuff so if i just say virus mass now i can get ad i can get ads popping up so you have to go broad you can't go so niche on some of these things because those keywords they might be blocked um, you can probably test that when we you know time to do the ads all right so that's that's lesson number one you know how to even go market around some of these topics because i ran into some of these same things like with um cbd and, and you know hemp and all those different things there's certain words you can't use and the way you have to get around it and you have to use similar words or just go broader on your on your marketing so that's a number another tip for you all right so i went through all those different search engines to kind of see what people are doing and then i showed you just already with the um carbon filter mass you know, like I say they're linking to amazon products and then so then i went on over to uh clickbank you know clickbank is a marketplace for digital products and different things like that. So I wanted to see if there's any products that somebody's already created on this topic. So I typed in coronavirus on ClickBank and I came up with this. Uh, it looks like it's uh, some kind of spirituality bracelet now. Take it forward. It's worth. It doesn't have a lot of gravity. Um, so there's probably not a lot going on there. So then I went over to Max Bellany um, just to see if there's any products around there. And there was one product that came up 
and this is just some kind of uh, survival, survival coronavirus pandemic. It's just a guide. And somebody's selling this for $45 a lead. Now, the, the earnings per click is very, very low. So you're going to make eight cents per click. So you got to send right many clicks there to just just to break even. So what what is that? Forty five. So you're going to have to send roughly five hundred some clicks to to make their make your forty five bucks in theory. You might do it in less, but, you know, that that's a lot of clicks and. Now you would have to keep your click ratio. You really have, you got to have clicks of like one cent, two cents, or whatever. Maybe four four cents to even make some money, if if this product really converts. But so I went over Max Bellamy just to see what was there, and then I I went over to Offer Vault just to see what products because this is kind of like the um, site that grabs all the affiliate offers so it's a good search engine to find what products are are out there and what networks are promoting it so these are the six products that came up or the search related terms for coronavirus um i don't know why uh qatar airways that's actually the airline we flew <laughs> when we went to india so that's just a, a travel um, package there trip.com Here's one about a mass coronavirus. It's uh, $24 per lead. And it looks like that just came out updated today. We'll click on that in a second. Pandemic survival guide. That's the same one that was on Max Bounty. And they're giving $28.75 per lead on this particular um, network point point click. Whereas Max Bounty, a, they're getting $45. So. That's another thing. You, sometimes you can compare and go out and search the networks and figure out who's going to pay you the most. I mean, if somebody's going to pay you more for the same offer. Why? Why not promote that one? If if, if everything is the same for as the landing pages and um, offer survive uh, coronavirus. Here's another one. That's thirty two dollars per sale. So somebody's probably you know having you promote and then they make money. Then they'll make money off of your efforts as well. Here's another one in coronavirus safe mass $36. So let's just um, see what this is all about. So this says the best protection against viruses and air pollution $36. So they're going to pay you uh, $36 per lead. So you could run that offer there let's see what else is I saw another one let's look at this one so what in the world that's just a camera I don't know what that's all about but that's just an ad or something Let's see. Okay. But you get the point. So this is how you go to Offer Vault. You can find out if there's any affiliate products that you can promote. Or, you know, if you, you find a manufacturer that actually um, produces these masks and you can actually brand them and, you know, do your own thing. Let me show you a trick here. Yay! Designer face mask. So let's see. I used to see a mask where people can actually put a smiley face and stuff on. Yeah, this is what I was looking for. Just, just being that we're on this topic, but as you can see, um, you know, these are like designer face masks, and then these are surgical type masks. So I'm getting a little off topic, but I just want to show you how people can reinvent them another mousetrap, basically and um monetize it all right so we did that and then the last place i want to go to is amazon so i did a, a search on amazon for coronavirus and these are the topics and things that have come up so right now you think about making money online businesses you can go out and create 
you know, Kindle books. Like some of these are very low in price, downloadables. One of the trick with Kindle, you know, starting out, you probably make your book, you know, 99 cents or very cheap because you want to get, you know, a lot of sales so you can increase your reviews. That's kind of what helps you sell on Amazon. You want a lot of reviews. Um, so you'll see some of these are low if I'm a member, but here it is right now. So you'll see 99 cents. That's 4.99. So they have about 35 reviews, so they can they can go ahead and raise their price now. Um, as you can see, they they got some vitamin stuff here, more books on the topic. So people are starting to write some books and, and content around um, the topic. And really, here's a mass here. This is just a performance mass. I don't know why. Uh, let's see why that came up. I don't know if they use Corona or not in their you don't see Corona in here. I don't see it anywhere in the. I don't see it anywhere in the description, but. When you post a product on Amazon, especially like your books and stuff, you can you can put in like certain keywords that you want your um, ad to come up for or your product to come up for in the search. I don't see it in here, so it's hidden. So they probably just did that to get some traffic <laughs> to the product. So guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe to the channel. I um, will bring you more content, helping you break down different things that help you in your marketing. Um, working on some more music topics. I know a lot of people have been asking some about the music um, breakdown. So I will be producing some more content around that. And if there's any, if there's any other information, make sure you hit me up on you know Ask Rudy. I love doing those videos. You know, if you can reach me, I'll put a link below. Um, you can leave me a, a voicemail and I'll play it on the air and actually answer your question. If it's, you know, something pertaining to my channel as far as music marketing, you know, engineering, technology, wherever it may be. Um, I love helping people. I love to answer questions. So I'll see you guys in another episode. Peace. <laughs>